Hi, this is Drewscape and I'm back for another urban sketching related video. Recently, me and my friends were conducting another urban sketching class and one of the students was asking me how does he capture all these little details inside the building but it's in the dark and they're all very small and it's hard to make out what all those things are. So what's the best way to capture all these little details? So in this video, I'm going to address that and I'm going to demonstrate how I would draw a scene like this. I'm going to use my old Zig Calligraphy marker for the line tool. I prefer to draw on location, but just for this demonstration, I'm drawing at my desk and looking at the picture on my computer screen. So here we go. Before I get to the small details in the dark, I'm going to draw the building first. Using the contour drawing approach, I'm combining all the details in this structure into one giant big shape. Hmm, I think I'll just put in this tree and this pavement to serve as little guiding points for me. Okay, I better get back to the bigger shapes. Don't want to get lost in all the small shapes yet. Combining lots of details again to form this secondary big shape. Using the location of one angle to find another angle. Oh gosh, why did I choose this structure to demonstrate this? This building is pretty complicated, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, I think I'll end my second big shape with this line here. Now I'm going to record all the small shapes within the bigger shapes I've drawn. Oh gosh, there's so many of them. Where do I start? I'm going to make a guiding point with this little shape here. Slowly breaking up the big shape. Getting the trees drawn out, just very loosely. Okay, now for all those small shapes and those complex angles. To keep me from being overwhelmed, I'm just telling myself I'm just not going to care so much. As in, it's okay if it doesn't turn out perfect. If the shapes are a bit longer or shorter or a bit distorted, I'm going to be totally fine with it. When I don't take my drawing so seriously, I find I usually draw better. Just capturing all the small shapes before I deal with the details in the dark. Okay, I think I've got most of them. Now how do we capture all those details in the dark? There are people and stalls and lights and signages in there. First thing I do is squint my eyes at the scene. This makes the dark parts darker and the brighter parts stand out more clearly. I choose to see those small brighter parts as small shapes against black and I'm just going to draw them out. This tree trunk looks black in the picture so I'm going to colour it black but it goes lighter at the base so I'm going to leave that white. Now anything that looks visually black, I'm just going to colour it as black. There are small little shapes in there that represent the food centre seats. So I'm making sure I'm leaving those small shapes uncolored. Those shapes don't have to clearly show that they are seats. I feel they just have to give an impression that something is there. And that's good enough. Same for this area. So when I'm coloring the blacks, I'm just making sure I avoid the brighter parts. I could also do it the other way, where I color everything black, then use a white pen or some white paint to mark out those shapes in the dark. But I'm going to see whether I can do everything with just the black pen for now. So I'm still keeping it pretty loose. There might be some inaccuracies that I make along the way. But come on, nobody's really going to check to see if I got all those little bright spots correctly in place. But still, I'm doing my best to capture them and making sure those brighter spots appear in their right places. But the goal is still just to create a general impression of what's there. And it's not about defining the objects clearly, since I can't really see the objects very clearly visually myself. So you could say that I'm just being true to what I'm seeing. I like that all this black has created a band of high contrast in this area, because it makes this area become the focal point of the picture. So I'm going to make sure that whatever I do next will not spoil that high contrast, so I can keep that focus on this area. Okay, just adding some essential details that I missed. The thicker lines will add a bit more contrast to those areas, but still I'm keeping it minimal, so it doesn't overshadow my big band of high contrast below. Some dots for some texture. Now I could use some mid-tone to help me complete this picture. I was using my brand new black marker to do the black areas just now, and it comes out nice and black like this. But using my much older marker that is running low on ink, I get marks like these. It's like almost a dry brush effect. So that's what I'm going to use for the parts that aren't very dark. 
but still need to be a certain level of darkness, like the side of this pavement here, and under the overhangs that are in shadow. There are many ways to create this mid-tone. I could use watercolor, pastels, or ink smudges like in my other videos. But this dry calligraphy marker seems to be working nicely. So it goes to show that markers that are running out of ink can still be really useful. Adding some mid-tone to some spots in the interior of the building. But being careful not to overdo it because I want to preserve the high contrast in that area as much as possible. Okay, maybe I will use some white paint to touch up some of the details inside the building. This is a Dollar Rowney Bleed Proof White. The point is pretty opaque, so it's great for corrections like these. And that's that. I think I'm done with the building. But oh yes, what about the buildings in the background? I don't want them to stand out so much, so I'm going to give them as little contrast as possible. Since outlines are actually small quantities of contrast, I'm just going to give those buildings a very thin line and very minimal details. Just some final touch-up details and I'm done. So that's how I capture details in the dark. Different artists may do it differently, but this is a quick simple way that works for me. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.